Hello, and thanks for joining me today. This is Erica with Cram Fighter, and today I'm going to show you how to use Cram Fighter to build your USMLE Step 1 study plan quickly and easily. Cram Fighter is a tool that will help you build individualized custom study plans based on the resources that you're using and the time you have until your exam. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build your own study schedule using our simple and easy to use tool. So I'm going to jump right in and I've already registered my account and I wanted to point out that we do offer at cramfighter.com a seven day fully featured free trial so that you can kind of set up your schedule and see how it works for seven days before you decide to buy it. So that said, um, I have already registered my account and I'm on step one of creating my study plan. So here I'm going to select the exam that I'm taking. We do support these other medical board exams as well as shelves. So, but for this demo, I'm just going to do the USMLE step one. You enter in the date of your exam, which in my case is going to be June 17th. I'll add that exam. And on the next page, you set up a study block. A study block for Cram Fighter is basically a mini schedule within your overall study plan with a specific goal to be accomplished or certain resources to be covered, for example. You may want to set up a study block consisting of, or you might want to set up multiple study blocks. Maybe one is a period of light studying versus a period of heavier studying as you get closer to your exam, or you might want to use it to set up things like, I want, I want to make my first pass through the first aid for the USMLE book. It's all customized to how you might want to do it. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to just create one study block that goes from today, which defaults to April, or from today's date, which is April 13th, to the day before my exam, which was June 17th. So it's going to run through the 16th. So I'll save that. On the next page, you can enter in the days that you want to have baked into your schedule, where you can have no study tasks scheduled because you have a built-in catch-up day. We always recommend having a catch-up day within every study schedule because as you know, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Things are going to come up and you're gonna need that day off. A set catch-up day also allows you to have some flexibility in your schedule and it also kind of rewards you for staying on task by giving you an extra day off or a chance to get ahead. So with that said, in this demo, I'm going to go ahead and create a catch-up day for this schedule every Friday. Now on this screen, you can also add in unscheduled days that you know you have upcoming, such as a vacation. You can also put in the days that you have practice exams scheduled. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a couple, of the, a couple of those days that I know I have coming up in this fictional student's world. Uh, they're going to take a vacation day on April 28th and also have a practice exam scheduled for about a month before the exam. So you can continue adding these days off with the add a day off button. And it just is another way to tell Cram Fighter, don't book any study tasks on these days. So once you've entered in all your days, you hit save. On this step is where you enter in all the resources that you are using to study and prepare for your step one. I am going to go ahead and enter basically what I consider the Holy Trinity, which we kind of see most students using, and that is UWorld, First Aid, and Pathoma. So I'll start by first entering UWorld. I'll use the search bar here to make it super simple because we do support dozens and dozens of resources. So if you need to have a resource, we more than likely have it. But so that's why it's really easy to use the search bar because there's such a long list. It's much easier just to type in and let it kind of uh, spit back what you have chosen. So here's the UWorld question bank. So I'll select that one. On this screen, you enter either the total number of questions that you want to get through in this study block or a daily number of questions. To keep things simple, I'm just going to go ahead and enter my total number of questions, which in my case, I'm going to get through 2,000 hit save and then that gets added to my resource list over here. Next one is first aid. And we do keep as updated as possible the resources that we do support. So 
We do have the step one, uh, oh, sorry, the first aid for the USMLE step one 2017 edition. That happens to be the one that I'm studying, so I'll select that one. On this sub-step on this page, you can select either certain chapters out of the book that you want to read, or you can just use this button to select them all. To keep things simple, again, I'm just going to select them all and save that, and that'll be added to my study plan once we get to it. One more thing to add, I have the Pathoma book to add. Again, you'll note that we have the most updated version, so I'll select that one and add it. Again, selecting all the chapters, saving that to my study plan. Now, two other things that I'm going to add on that I see a lot of students using um, is, uh, first one is Sketchy Medical, the lecture series. So I'll select that. And this one, similar to the book resources, you can select certain chapters or lectures, or you can just select them all. So I'm going to select all of them. It's very long, so I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom here. And those will be added to my list of resources. And again, just to point out, there, the items that you add get added over to the left here on your list of selected resources. The final thing I'll add is flashcards. I'll choose the Anki flashcards. And I'm going to be I'm going to be kind of reaching for this one, so I'll do 3,000 flashcards, hopefully, in my study plan. So I hit Save. That will be added to my list of resources on the left-hand side once the screen reloads. And now you, now you see all the five items that I've added. I do want to point out, <clears throat> on this screen, we do have kind of a running stats window that lets you know how your study block that you're creating compares to other students with a similar time frame and similar resources selected as you. So in this stats box here, I can see that for my reading, I'm looking at getting through two pages per hour versus our uh, kind of student average, our peer group of five. So I'm a little bit light on reading, I'm looking at being a little bit more aggressive for the number of hours of uh, lecture that I have to get through two hours versus an hour and nine minutes. And then my QBank questions, I'm looking at 13 an hour versus 20 for the peer group, but then here's where I'm starting to run into trouble. I have 55 flashcards scheduled per hour versus the student average of 30. So this little warning sign will pop up that tells me that I'm creating an ambitious schedule and I'm attempting to cover much more material than the average user. So since I'm on this resource selection page, I can actually go into my list of selected resources and note that all these titles are hyperlinked. So I can actually go directly into this Anki, which was the problematic resource, and I can drop down my total number of flashcards. So I'll drop it to 2200 to see if that brings things in line. So now I see that I'm much more in line with the student average. I'm still pretty aggressive at 40 per hour versus 30, but Cramfighter has seems to think that it's not going to be too bad for me. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that. So now that I've added all my, added all my resources, I select continue and go to the next page where I tell Cramfighter how to sort the tasks that it assigns me. You can choose to sort your studying by subject and then by resource or to sort it by resource resource and just read the books cover to cover. So a lot of people find it easier to group topics together and body systems. So we do allow you to kind of customize that to your needs. You might want to get through the subjects where you are weaker first and then leave the stronger ones till the end or the other way around. Again, it's totally customizable and you can change that sort order on this page. You'll actually just use a simple drag and drop. So I'm going to move cardio up to first and then I'll do respiratory second, and then GI third. And you can just kind of customize it and reorder these the way that you want to as, as you see fit. I'm not going to keep going with that. And then you can also choose the order that you wish to go through the resources within each of the subjects. Maybe I want to get through Pathoma first so I can move that. But let's just keep it as first aid first. Most people do that. So once I'm happy with that sort, I'll hit save. And then finally, on this screen is where I enter the number of hours that I want to spend on each type of resource per day. Sometimes people have 
a, a preference where they might want to save all their board studying for the weekends. So they might want to decrease the number of hours on the weekdays that they have scheduled for each of these study tasks. Some people are the other way around. They just want to knock out a bunch of studying during the weekdays and then save their weekends for a little bit lighter load. I will show you really quickly how you can customize the number of hours to spend on these resources per day. And for this fictional student, I'm going to make them go a little bit lighter on Saturdays and Sundays. So I'm going to drop down the number of hours for books and lectures and QBanks from the default of four and three to two and two. And then conversely, I can increase my number of hours on, let's just say Mondays and Tuesdays. So I'll hit six hours and four hours and do six hours and four hours Monday and Tuesday. So, and it also brings over the stats window that we saw on the previous screen and resource selection so that you can still see if you're kind of keeping things in line with the typical student average for this type of study block. So once that looks good, I'll hit save. The final screen before you actually build your schedule is a summary of all the information that you entered on the previous steps. So you can just kind of go through and read and make sure everything looks good. Here's the study block with the dates that we selected. I have my catch-up day every Friday. I have two unscheduled day days entered, one for vacation and one was that practice exam that I had set up. I've got the five resources selected. I'm going to sort my study tasks by subject. And then it looks like I've allocated about 56 hours a week to studying. So if that looks good, I can hit finish and view schedule. Or if I need to, I can go back in any of these green hyperlinks and make edits to these particular steps in the study plan. But for now, it looks good to me, so I'm going to hit finish and view schedule. And it generates on the back end all the information that we entered in the previous screens to create a custom study plan based on the information that I particularly entered for my exam and the resources that I'm using. So once it's ready to view, it'll drop you in on today and it'll show you the tasks that you have starting today. If you'll recall, I had made cardio my first topic, so it's going to group together the book and lecture resources according to subject here, and then throw me in a certain number of um, UWorld questions and the flashcards that I need to complete. Continues on, tomorrow is my catch-up day because I scheduled in every Friday to have a catch-up day. Then I move into Saturday and I'm doing cardio, still more cardio. Going into, into Sunday, it looks like I'm still on cardio. Um, and then I can go to the next week and it looks like I'm still doing cardio. Wow. So it keeps going like that, the way you've, the way you've told Cram Fighter to set up your schedule. I'm going to go back into today's date and I'm going to show you one handy feature that we offer is the ability to print out your schedule and you just click the button and it generates a PDF that you can print out and you can bring with you in case you're not going to be in front of a computer or you're going to be away from your phone's data plan for any reason. So that's basically it. It gives you the chance to set up a study plan with relatively little effort and you can kind of see everything that you need to do every single day. And as you're using your study plan, you just go through and check the tasks as you complete them. So Cram Fighter will just tells you exactly what you need to do every single day to get through the resources that you've selected in order to be ready for your step one exam. So that's it. I hope you found it helpful. Um, check out our other videos for doing things like how to rebalance your schedule if you fall behind. You can contact us at any time at contact at cramfighter.com if you have questions, or you can use this helpful chat window that is available within the app. We're typically available during business hours. Just click the button and you can start talking to someone live at Cram Fighter to help you with your study plan.